This video right here is mainly for new people. So today, get your pens and your notebook. And let's take some notes because we're going to talk about branch. Hey y'all and welcome to the channel. I'm Renee and for my new people that just stumbled across the video, welcome to the channel. All right. So with Spark, back in the day, it used to be you got paid every Friday. Now Spark has decided that they were going to partner with this app called Branch. And Branch is the bank for Spark. DDI is the human resources slash onboarding, you know, those type of people. And Spark is Spark. Spark is who sends you your deliveries, notifications and stuff like that. So anything that you have related to delivery, wait times and stuff like that, you definitely need to go through Spark. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Um, Branch. Branch is the bank that holds your money until you decide whatever it is that you want to do with it. Back when I started in 2019, early 2020, um, you were getting paid every Friday. It was automatically direct deposited into whatever bank you signed up with when you first started. You didn't have to go through all of these different apps and all of that. It was just straight direct deposit. Now DDI sends your pay to Branch. So what you have to do is wait on DDI to send you your login information or the link in an email so that you will be able to set up branch. Now in the video that I had previously, I think it was a couple of months back, I did not know that you had to wait at least 10 days to a week, I think it, a week or 10 days or something like that before they actually send you your uh your login information so you actually have to do some deliveries first the reason i say i did not know is because like i said when i started back in 2019 we didn't have to do all of this and so this is new to me so when y'all are asking me uh when i said about the email and you know wait on your email i didn't know you had to actually wait all of this time I'm thinking that when you first signed up, they'll automatically send you the email and so that you can already get that set up so that you won't have any problems doing what you need to do when you get paid. Well, that's not the case. So apparently based on what some of the other new drivers have been saying in the comments, um, they're going to send you your email after you have completed, I guess, one week of deliveries. So. You're not going to get anything until then. Once you get that link or whatever they whatever they text you or email to you, then you're probably going to get both depending on how you set your stuff up. Whatever, whenever they send it to you after you have completed your uh, your work week or whatever it is, it's like putting a week in the hole, just like it is if you know, if you were working a regular nine to five job. Uh, once you complete that, they're going to send you the link and then you'll be able to do what you need to do once they send the link until they send that you're not going to be you're not going to be able to do anything you can go ahead and download the app uh, if you would like to but you're not going to be able to do anything with it because when it tells you to put in the company that you're working for or that you're looking for you're not going to be able to find delivery drivers incorporated and you're definitely not going to be able to find spark delivery drivers so you're just going to have to wait on the link and once they do that, then you'll be good to go. Now with Branch, like I said, is basically considered the, the Spark bank until you tell them, you know, whether you want to send some money to another bank that you've already linked. If you don't have a bank that's on their list of banks that they will actually allow you to link their app to, then you're going to basically have to use Branch as your bank. You can get a debit card that they'll send to you if you request one. They're not going to automatically send it to you. You can get a debit card and you can use that just like you would if you had a bank card. It's going to be uh, the Visa and all of that logo on it. I don't have one, so I don't have one to show you. Um, I have my bank already linked. As far as routing and account numbers, you will be able to, you will have access to that, which is what I show in my older video, but you'll have that when you first get your branch wallet set up, it's going to show you an account number and a routing number. So if you needed to have that for whatever reason, if you needed somebody to send you some money or you needed to pay a bill, then you can use that account number and routing number just like you would if you had a actual bank. Now they do have um, ATMs around where you can, you know, slide your card and get money out. And all of that is within the branch app. Once you get 
access to that, then you'll be able to see where um, your free ATMs are so that you won't be charged fees or whatever. So you'll be able to see all of that. Now, if you do have a bank that is on their list of approved banks, I'm assuming that's what it's called. Um, if you do have a bank that's listed on their approved list of banks, then you can move the money over to that particular bank. Just like if you were doing a transfer from bank to bank, you don't have to necessarily leave your money in branch unless you want to. Now, the one thing that I will say, because a lot of people are worried that, um, they've done some work and they haven't seen their money. Um, the money will sit there. It's not going to dwindle down because you haven't moved it or you haven't done anything to it. The moment that you're logged in and able to log in into to the branch wallet, then you your money that you work for, you will definitely see that. And then uh, pay is on Tuesdays now. Pay is on Tuesdays. It's no longer on Fridays. Now with Tuesdays, it could be any time on Tuesday. It's not like it's going to be Tuesday at 6 a.m. It's not like it's going to be Tuesday, 12 a.m. It's going to be Tuesday. It may be 10 a.m. It may be 11 a.m. Just know that on Tuesday you will get paid. So there's no need to pull your hair out saying what time on Tuesday? What time on Tuesday? I don't know. The only thing that they say on their site is that you'll be paid at least by 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I think it is or it may be Pacific. I'm not sure, but th that's it. Tuesdays. So if it's eight o'clock p.m., long as it's still Tuesday, you're going to get your money. <laughs> I do want to say that um, doing this is basically when you're an independent delivery or independent contract, period. It's all about waiting. I'm not going to be the only person that's going to tell you this. You're going to hear this a lot. If you talk to anybody that has worked with Spark, you know, and they have some positive things to say about it. The one thing that you're going to always hear is it's a game of wait. You know what I'm saying? Because you expect your pay to be in your bank on Tuesday at eight o'clock every Tuesday. It's not going to happen. I can tell you that now. It's not going to happen. Everything is just it's just coming. It's a hurry up and wait. If you were ever in the military, then you, you know that term. Hurry up and wait. Um, it's nothing that you can do to make anything any quicker is nothing that you can do to do anything about that because they're going to send you what you need when they send it not when you want them to okay so let's just keep that in mind and as far as um spark if you have problems with deliveries and things of that nature if you have access to the app you have access to spark Basically, you can put in issue um, tickets, help desk tickets or whatever you want to call it. You can put all of that in through the app. Uh, you can call them directly in the app. So I would suggest if you can't get in touch with them and you have the access to the app, turn the app on and then hit the help button at the top. I, I don't even know if you can do that, but try it and see. I was going to try it, but I'm recording on my phone to see. But um, there's really not a. Uh, let me, oh, I have my computer right here. Let me just see while I'm right here. Hold on just a minute, y'all. Let me see if I got a phone number. I'm going to just flash it across the screen. All right. So I am in my computer right now and I am looking up delivery drivers incorporated because that's where a lot of y'all seem to be having the issues of not being able to reach anybody. So I'm going to see right here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, let's see for a phone number for delivery drivers. It is 888-334-9675. That's the number that I see that is for Delivery Drivers Inc. So if you're having issues, uh, you can try that number out. I'm not saying that this is going to necessarily work, but that is the number that they have listed for them. 888-334-9675. Um, they're in California, so they are uh, specific standard time. So keep that in mind as well. So if you're in another time zone, then that's going to play a major factor for you. All right. So the email for uh, the D the uh, delivery drivers, Inc., the DDI website is DDI work 
dot com d d i w o r k uh dot com so if you're needing to get in touch with them you have the phone number and now you have an email so you do whatever it is that you want with that information but whatever it is that you do make sure you got your pen and your notebook so you can take notes of that now a lot of y'all are probably wondering because a lot of the other uh, gig apps they let you get paid by the day spark doesn't do that right now they said that it will be coming in 2022 and we are in 2022 we are in february of 2022 so maybe they'll be sending out something that says you know when they're going to get started doing that but right now it is not a daily cash out now once they start to do that you know it's gonna just whoo that's gonna be like okay that's what's up so but right now that's not happening um i'm just looking around on this site while i have y'all here because i have a lot of comments under that one particular video the branch app video um that are asking these questions so i'm just trying to help y'all out the best way i can because i'm not going to be coming back on and answering any other questions that's why i'm making this video but other than that i mean it's, it's fairly it's pretty cut and dry you know you get paid on tuesdays you get paid every week you get um like different perks for being a driver as far as let's see so being that it's tax season you get a discount on at turbo tax um it looks like you have jiffy lube um perks so you know a lot of people are worried about car maintenance and things of that nature so you have some perks there uh, they also have a trip log coupon and because you do know that you have to track your own mileage. And so I, I had a I got an app. I, I got a video that I was talking about um, the app that I use. Well, that I had tried and um, you can I'll link that down in the description because that was called stride but they do have one that's on the ddi website that's called trip log and there is a coupon for that as well it's just all about waiting to receive the information now once you do receive your login and all of that then that's when i would suggest going back to that video that i made that says um, how to set up your branch account once you receive your information then that probably will be helpful for you because I talk, I walk you through a lot of the, you know, the steps or the different tabs that you can use so that, you know, you'll be able to find whatever it is that you need to find and how to move the money and all of that. Now, I will say when you do move your money, if you transfer from branch to one of your um, banks that you have linked, then they give you an option to do it for free, but you have to wait three to five business days or you can do an immediate transfer and get the money within a couple of minutes. But they do charge a fee for that. Um, you can link a lot of different banks. If you have four banks, you can put them all in there. You know, it is. I don't think it's a limit of how many banks. I know I have three set up in mind right now because I just like to have that. You know, never know. Uh, I might know, never know. And one of my banks may be acting a fool one day or they system may be down and I'm going to need to get my money out of branch. So um, get yourself two or three banks and put them in there. But I hope that this video uh, did help a uh, few of y'all out. Um, I mean, it's not really much to say other than you do have to wait on them to send your login information for a branch. That's the only way you, that you're going to be able to set up anything. Uh, make sure you keep your eye out on your email because it may just land in your your um, your spam emails. But here's something that I would suggest also, if you know that your spam is just full of, I mean, your, your emails are full of just other emails and all of that, or even in your spam emails, go to the top where it says search and just type in DDI. And if DDI has sent you anything, it should pop up if you type it instead of you trying to look through 300 emails to find that one email go in your email at the top where it says search type in ddi and i promise you anything that they have sent you it may be some stuff that you done missed type it in there and look at all those emails that have come through from them that's a good way to uh, to stay on top of it too because i know i get a lot of emails especially in the email 
address that I gave them. So I have to do that a lot. But other than that, I hope that y'all are enjoying your spark journey so far. I've been seeing some comments where a lot of people have not because they weren't too sure on how they were going to get paid. Now, I will say this. If you haven't gotten paid, you haven't received your email, I'm willing to bet that your email is sitting in your spam. So it's highly unlikely that DDI didn't send you your information. So make sure you check there, especially if you've been doing this for a while, because I saw where one guy was saying something about he had made $800 and it was just sitting somewhere they don't have any idea of how to get their money use that number that i just gave you that email that i just gave you go through your email type in search put ddi i mean uh, in your search bar put in ddi look and see what this email is because i'm pretty sure they have sent it to you unless you gave them an email address and it was wrong but you need to contact them and get those 800 dollars. whoever you were uh salvador i think your name was Go in the comments if you have questions or anything like that or, you know, if you feel like I'm not giving you what you're looking for. A lot of people in the comments have probably answered your questions as well because they put out a lot of good information in the comment section. I mean, full fledged conversations go on in the comments. So take a peek there. But I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. And I don't know if you still ain't able to get your stuff. I don't know what to tell you. I just don't even know what to tell you. Um, use, the, use the information that I just gave you. But anyway, I hope that y'all have a fantabulous rest of the day. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.